Hey guys, Jennifer here and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I give my lunch supply room a much needed makeover. I'm going to be decluttering, rearranging, I'm going to be sharing with you everything in my lunch supply collection. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video. What is a lunch supply room, you might ask? Well, it's kind of like a craft room, but instead of paint or fabric, this is the room where I store all of my bento boxes and all of the accessories that I use in my Bunches of Lunches series here on YouTube. Now, before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and without further ado, let's get on to the makeover. Back when we first moved into this house, we took this room, which is supposed to be a guest bedroom, and we turned it into not only our home office, but also the headquarters for our Bunches of Lunches series. Here's what it looked like at that time. And you guys, here's how it looks today. It's been almost two years since I've reorganized in here, and things have definitely gotten a bit out of control. I've been collecting lunch supplies for over four years now, and I actually save and reuse about 99% of everything I use in my lunch videos. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Now, like I mentioned, this room is also where I have my home office. It's where I plan and edit all my videos. A few weeks ago, I tackled this side of the room, and I have a separate video on that if you'd like to check it out. So now that this side of the room is finished, it's time to work on the other side. Now, emptying the shelves is going to be quite the task, but thankfully I have a helper with me today. For now, we're just going to place everything on our dining room table. And of course, while we're emptying everything out, this is going to be the perfect time to go through each basket just to decide what I want to keep and what I want to donate. So now that both bookshelves are empty, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them all down. I wanna make sure to get rid of all of the dust. And I'm also taking time to vacuum this entire area as well. Now you guys, another thing that really needs some cleaning and reorganizing are my food pick drawers. Now, my food pick collection is quite extensive and I really love it, but it gets very disorganized very quickly. So really, I kind of just want to completely start over. And that means dumping them all out. During this process, I'm also going to be cleaning out all of these drawers and then comes the fun part sorting and organizing all of these picks. Now, thankfully, I have both of my girls here to help me. Now, there's actually something super satisfying about this to me. It's almost like putting together a puzzle. Now, I actually have two of these food pick organizers. In this unit, I have lots of little drawers and I organize them by the picks I use most at the top and the picks I use least at the bottom. Keeping these in here in an organized way definitely helps me reuse things. And then you guys, in the other set of drawers, those are a little bit bigger. So over here, I'm storing my larger picks. These are more like cupcake toppers. And this is also where I'm gonna be storing all of my cupcake rings. So now that the girls and I finished putting all of the food picks back in order, it's almost time to put everything else back on the bookshelves. But before we do, we have some building to do. To help fix our storage problems in here, we picked up three of these units from Ikea. We're going to go ahead and remove the desk and put these units here instead. And while we're at it, we're also going to add some color. Like I said, I love fun and colorful spaces. These are just removable vinyl stickers, and I just love how they turned out. 
That means it's time to put everything else back on the shelves. On these two bottom rows, I'm going to store my cute napkin collection. But this time, instead of these Dollar Tree bins, I'm using these larger ones from Ikea. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a row of doors. Now, I also got these at Ikea and they're meant to go with this shelf. All we have to do is screw them in. And behind these doors is where I'm going to store all of our lunch bags. Next, I'm going to be putting back our Good To Grow topper collection. This is exactly where they were before, but I did go ahead and take out some of the duplicates that we had. I reorganized them a little bit and I think they look a lot better. And then right at the top, I'm going to display some of my favorite lunch boxes. And I decided instead of storing them by type of lunch box, that I'd go ahead and group them together by color. So not only is it organized, but it also is more aesthetically pleasing. So now that bookshelf number one is done, we're gonna move on to bookshelf number two. And I want this to kind of mirror the other bookshelf. So on the bottom two rows of this bookshelf, I'm also gonna be adding in these Ikea bins. Over here I have the lunch boxes that I don't use quite as often. This is where I'm also storing snack boxes, thermoses, and dash appliances. And then just like the first bookshelf on the third row here, we're going to be installing some doors as well. That way I have some space to store things that I don't use that often and that I don't really want to have on display. Moving up to the next row, this is where we're going to store all of our clear lunch boxes. And then finally at the very top, I've added some of our favorite lunch boxes, again grouped by color. Now onto the part I am super excited to share with you, the labeling. Now in the past, my labeling systems have pretty much failed me. So that's why this time I'm really happy to be working with my Cricut. This is going to make labeling things so much easier. My labels are going to look way better and I'll be able to get them done a lot faster. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that works with tons of materials from vinyl to leather, and it's super easy to create exactly what you want using their free design space software. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to make labels using my Cricut. I'm going to start creating my labels in the Cricut design space. This makes it so easy to decide what I want each label to say, what I want it to look like, and how big I want it. So now that I have this all planned out, all I have to do is send it to the Cricut and the Cricut will cut it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little weeding. That just means I'm going to be taking out the pieces of the vinyl that I don't need. Next, I'm going to add my label to the transfer tape. And then all I have to do is apply this wherever I want my label to go. I'm going to use this little tool just to make sure that it stays on nicely. I 
love it. Now on this top row, I've added all of my fruit and veggie cutters. In these next three drawers, I'm storing all of my silicone liners, organized by color and type. On the next row, I'm storing my utensils, my egg molds, and some other snack containers. But because I wanna keep these Cricut labels short, I'm just gonna add the word utensils on here. In these next three drawers, it's where I'm storing all of our sandwich sealers. Next comes all of these sandwich cutters. Followed by a very large collection of cookie cutters. And last up, the miscellaneous drawers. Now you guys, I'm just about done here, but I do have just a few finishing touches. Also, I've used my Cricut again to make some labels for my bins. That way all of those things can stay organized as well. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna be adding the word lunch in these beautiful marquee letters just to give this area some extra sparkle. Okay guys, so here is what the space looked like before, and here's what it looks like after. Now honestly, I am super happy with the way this turned out. I love all the touches of rainbow everywhere, and of course, I absolutely love the labels I made with my Cricut. Again, I want to thank Cricut for partnering with me on this video, and if you'd like any more information about Cricut, I will leave a link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.